CHM Montalivet, also known as CHM Monta, is the world's first naturist holiday resort located south of Montalivet, in Vendée's Montalivet, France. CHM Montalivet opened in 1950, and the International Naturist Federation was founded there in 1953. The center is 175 hectares of land adjoining the beach to the south of Montalivet Les Bains, in the commune of Vendée's Montalivet, in the Medoc, part of Aquitaine north of Bordeaux in France. It comprises a mixture of about 1,000 privately owned bungalows and caravans, and 960 sites suitable for touring caravans, and 260 for camping. There are over 12 kilometers of internal roads laid out in an approximate grid formation. The pitch and bungalows are arranged into 20 villages, each having its own character and characteristics. Families tend to return regularly, usually to the same village. There are the usual sports facilities. Tennis, archery, volleyball, football, three restaurants, a shopping center with 20 shops a cultural centre with a multilingual library, and a theatre that screens films. There are two CYBERCAFA tilde copyright S and five commercial Wisconsin Fi portals, a mail system and cash points. All this is fronted by a three kilometres white sand beach, with two supervised swimming points. The site's second swimming pool with flumes is a recent innovation. CHM Montalivet is family-oriented and access is limited to those having valid FNI-INF identification. 55% of the visitors are non-French. Nude bathing has been practiced on the Aquitaine coast from time immemorial. It is noted by Marcel Kienna till the copyright de Mongiat from 1920 along the entire coast. Before the 1939-1945 war, the locals baths and smellet and during the war so did the occupying troops. Christy Ann and Albert Lecoq, from Maris who had been instrumental in setting up a rage and framework for urban naturist clumps, conceived the idea of combining naturism and travel made possible by paid annual leave, introduced in 1936 in France. He concluded that the seven hectares on the Etel de la Duleven near Taulon was too small, and through Robert Paulin, was introduced to the mayor of Vendée's Montalivet who rented him 23.8 ha of burnt forest, that was owned to become a colony de Vaisances or holiday resort. The deal was signed 23 July 1950. The legal structure was new. The lease was taken in the name of Albert Lecoq, as if it were a suburban clump, which would have to be non-profit making. It was to be a centre de Vaisances, and thus a separate legal entity that could make a profit and a commercial company Socknet was formed in 1954. Christie and Lecoq recalled that, on the terrain we found total desolation. Everything was black or burnt. They had the abandoned concrete from the war, five tents and a hut. There was no shade. We went back to the village, to sleep on the floor in an open cabin. In 1951 they had purchased a car, and started removing the barbed wire and munitions. A small space was cleared. The first wooden bungalows were constructed in 1951. A further 25 hectares was leased under the name of the F.A. Tilde Copyright Duration F.R.A.N.A. Tilde Section A. Naturism on 22 December 1951. The International Naturist Federation was conceived in London at the Festival of Britain, but it was at the First Congress, held at Montalivet in 1953 that the formal documents were signed. It was in 1956 that the site was first opened to non-members. A village of tents was set up in the new village of C.A. Tilde Copyright and In 1957, the Centre de Vaisance is opened with 150 bungalows to hire. Naturism could only be practiced within the 50 ha site and on the beach which was 600 metres away through a textilist zone on a boardwalk. 30-plus families purchased their own bungalows. Throughout the 1950s the centre expanded, more land acquired on different leases, and the centre became more popular. By 1959, over 10,000 visited during the summer, and on 15 August 1961, 
more than 3,500 persons were on site. As the years passed, the facilities changed, restaurants were next to the beach, and the sports and entertainment area consolidated away from the residential areas. Change brought disagreement, and then acceptance and expansion. The food shop was originally totally vegetarian, but other shops have arrived, and it now remains for a niche market.